Now, we all know the Earth revolves around the Sun, but did you know that the water cycle does too? The whole process begins and ends and begins anew again with the Sun. You see, the Sun heats the water in the oceans, and when the water hits a critical temperature, its molecules begin moving so fast that they actually separate and float into the air as water vapor. This is known as evaporation. Natural air currents blow that water vapor to and fro all around the world, and the molecules collide and even stick together. When a group of molecules becomes large enough, it manifests as a cloud. And when a cloud becomes too large, the molecules get heavier and heavier, a process called condensation, and fall back to Earth as liquid once again. This is called precipitation. The water cycle is a beautiful, perfect system. It distributes water around the world and purifies it more thoroughly than just about any man-made machine ever could. But the most wonderful thing about the whole process is that it is completely automatic. We don't have to do anything to move the process along, nor could we. Unfortunately, our little water filter does not have its own little water cycle, so we need to do our best to make sure that it's always nice and full. Right, Sasha? Hey, thanks for watching us at Hyperdrive Pictures. What's your favorite part of the water cycle? Leave a comment below or draw us a little picture of your own and leave it on our Facebook or Twitter. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next week on Wednesday with a new video. Peace. Sasha, don't eat that.